So because my dog is a little bit of a troublemaker at the moment, I had to let her out and she's got a bunch of energy and teething a lot, so I'm doing this video outside. Um, so and this just dropped today, I found out. We are getting an Ant-Man sequel titled Ant-Man and the Wasp, which will hit theaters in July 6, 2018, two years from next year, more or less. Um, the, uh, I guess uh, it seems to be, uh, as they're saying, it seems to be a response to the popularity of J Hope Van Dyne's playing the Wasp, I guess, or Hope Van Dyne being, you know, Hank Pym's daughter in Ant-Man and a future Wasp. Also the possibility of seeing the original Wasp. Now, they said, though, that some things are going to be pushed back just a little bit or bumped around. Uh, Black Panther is being bumped up to July 18th. Oh, excuse me, from July 18th to February 18th, 16th. Oh, sorry, February 16th. So from July 8th to February 16th, the earliest in a year Marvel movies ever debuted, they said. And that's, I think that was partly due to how well I think Deadpool's tracking at the moment. So, you know, you're smart on them. But also, the Captain Marvel, our first solo female film, is getting a slight pushback from November 2nd to 2018. From, excuse me, November, two, November 2nd, 2018 to March 8th, 2009. Marvel also has planted three flags in 2020 for unannounced Marvel films in May 1st, July 10th, and November 6th. Ooh, I get one on my birthday. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's a lot to take in because for, originally we've basically assumed that uh, Marvel's Phase 3 lineup has basically been slated. They're, they're done. They're working on this stuff. With the exception of Spider-Man, which they didn't expect to get back, so they arranged, rearranged something for that. But... Um, I'm sorry, I just cleaned my screen off a bit. Um, no, that's um, that's that's an interesting little thing. I mean, I mean, not a lot of was not a lot of them pushed back. Thor's still going on fine. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy still working fine. All of next year's still fine. Um, Avengers are still going, but yeah. Um, okay, let's start with just the the pushes here a little bit. Um, Black Panther being pushed up. That's fine. We get Black Panther earlier, February. February, it's going to make a killing. I don't know. It's that's every, February 18. I don't know what's coming out completely for 18, uh, the, the 2018 February month. But Black Panther is going to clean house, man. <laughs> it's going to clean house. Any comic movie cleans house in a month that mostly crap gets put out. Um, then we got, but that then we have the whole um, Miss Marvel being pushed up. I'm a, I am slightly with the ideology that it's we've been waiting so long for a solo female standalone movie. It looks like Wonder Woman is actually going to beat Miss Marvel to that finally. Uh, though I think she was going to beat it anyway. She's coming out, yeah, the Wonder Woman comes out in 2017, so it's going to beat her anyway. Regardless, um, we don't need. We just have to wait longer for it. Now it's it's not just you know uh, a few months like say the, if her, like February like with Black Panther. No, it's. A full six months, <laughs> full five, yeah, full six months uh, back. No March, no March. So I take it back. No, it's, it's four months, but it's still four months pushed back. That's still uh, that's still quite a ways. So I'm just I'm not that keen on that. Now going on to the idea itself, I like it because it just showed how Marvel really is able to handle their properties so well, and that they. Had this character Ant Man, who's really obscure, even though a lot of hardcore con fans, he's not the biggest character. And they made a wildly entertainingly, entertainingly, wildly entertaining, solid film with characters you liked and we want to see again. To the point where now they said, you know what, we're going to re rearrange it. We're going to make a sequel planned for 2018 because people like these characters so much. I like the fact Marvel's flexible in changing their schedule, but it also makes me concerned sometimes when they actually set up. <laughs> Just one second. You want the ball? Want the ball? Go get the ball. <laughs> uh, and she completely bypasses the ball again. So, um, yeah, it makes me a little concerned about when they make a plan, but, you know, there's like, oh, no, we're going to change this, we're going to change that, we're going to change this, because they've actually changed a lot since they originally announced Phase 3. We have Spider-Man back, they had to bump some stuff around. We now got this going on, a new, uh, so this is happening. For that, but that being said, it actually does bold some water for any Hulk standalone movie. Hello, Domino. Hello, Domino. Uh, it actually bolds slightly better for any Hulk standalone they may think of in the future. It's like, okay, we thought of a Hulk. We're going to put it right here. Maybe that's our, maybe that's one of our 220 uh, planting, <laughs> our 220 um, flags that were just planted in the ground. 
We got another Hulk movie coming in 220. Who knows? Would Mark Ruffalo still be wanting to come back for that? I have no idea. I, we know he's going to be around for a lot of the other movies, but... I mean, Mark Ruffalo's like, what, 40-something? So, um, who, who knows? <laughs> and my sister's back to uh, play with a dog. So, um, no, yeah, I, I like it. I mean, well, that does make a question who the villain's going to be for that movie. Because we got rid of Yellow Jack, and he was a major Ant-Man villain. So, who knows? But, uh, yeah, I'm down for this. This is, a, this is a cool premise. I like Ant-Man a lot. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And, as always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review at some point. So, uh, I will see you next time.